Well, this I think is important, which yep. is that the SEC appeal of the Ripple ruling was rejected. And uh, the interesting thing here is that, you know, this is moving us forward in a meaningful way as an industry that we have been waiting on for years and years now. The uh, district judge said in a brief ruling Thursday that the SEC had failed to meet its burden under the law to show that there were controlling questions of law and that there had been substantial grounds for differences of opinion. So that was the reason that the appeals uh, request was denied. And they will be looking at the other pending issues in April of 2024. Um, so they may still try to appeal the case overall once that has happened, but the appeal, this sort of inter, you know, appeal among, you know, in the process was denied for now. So um, I don't think this is the clarity that we're hoping for exactly, but it is a step hopefully in the right direction for all of us. Hopefully, I, I actually I'm I'm reminded of uh, something that Gensler said in an interview, where he was basically framing it as we're going to keep on bringing these cases until we start losing them, and that's weird. But if you but if you give him the benefit of the doubt, what he's really saying is we aren't lawmakers. We are trying to interpret something that is kind of hazy. We have an opinion. If courts start repeatedly disagreeing with us, then they're saying that's the edge. That's where the line is. This is where you don't keep on going. So hopefully, you know, it means that they don't keep on appealing and that they just recognize that multiple times now this has been, you know, affirmed. This is this this the state of the law. It depends on whether Gensler or the SEC in general kind of has it out for crypto, really, is really just trying to punish you know, those who go against him kind of thing. And that's obviously not their role. Uh, so I hope not. I hope not. I hope this is, you know. Well, at the end of the day, this is something I've been saying a lot recently. It's we need we need the kind of clarity that doesn't depend on who the leader of an organization true. or, um, true, true, you know, true. a department in the government is in order for us to be able to build cool stuff, yeah. change the Internet in a positive way, you know, yeah, launch we new projects. Debating, we were just debating whether to kind of um, – offer some uh, suggested amendments to something that would uh, uh, kind of push some aspects, specifically DPIN, a lot of those kind of tokens, uh, over into the, uh, the CFTC's jurisdiction. And one of the arguments was, of course, that, you know, that Gensler is very unfriendly to this, right? Um, and the kind of counter to that was, well, Gensler will be out in the next two years, and it's very likely that Hester Purse will be in, and then we've got a friend. Uh, and it's kind of like, is it, it the devil you know versus the devil you don't know? Who knows how the CFTC will kind of handle these kind of things? Um, but you, I remember you made that point, and it's like, you know, we need to make those decisions based on what makes the most sense, what agency makes the most sense, what these things actually are. Like, like legally, what are they? Not just, you know, who, who should be in charge of kind of governing them, because there's a big difference between those two things. Uh, and you're absolutely right. They change every few years, and you can't just be like, just because they're friendly exactly. to us, we we prefer them. Like that exactly. wouldn't make any sense at all. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Um, but one one last thing was just the uh, the actual um, uh, uh, motion. Uh, if you want to take a look at it, it's in the show notes. There's a link to it, and you have the whole thing right here. Yeah, so. you can read it for yourself. I'm a big fan of going to the source material when you're trying to figure something out. So there it is. Indeed. Check it out. Indeed. Indeed. 